fifth graders to Crescent Intermediate and Middle School. This is Mr. Cleveland. I'm your dean for your next four years here at Crescent. And today we're going to give you a quick tour of our wonderful building starting here at the main office. So this is the front desk where you would come in and sign in if you were late to school or if your parents drop you off. Okay, normally right here is Mrs. Coe, but this is Mrs. Champion, who is going to talk to you a little bit about our process. So guys, as you come into the building, this is where students will come in if they are late to school. Say, maybe you just woke up a little late and you missed the bus and your parent needs to, you know, drop you off a little late. Miss Coe would be sitting right here and you guys would sign in and she'd give you a pass to go to your class. Or maybe you have a doctor's appointment and your parents needs to come in and sign you out so you can go to your doctor's appointment. This is that location that you are going to go. Now parents, as you know, there's going to be conferences every year for you to meet with your child's teachers. When you do, you must make sure that you have your ID. We have to check any student or any teacher, parent, any parent that comes into the building, and we will check your ID in this little scanner right here, and otherwise you won't be allowed into the building. So we have to make sure that you have your ID when you come in, okay? Uh, next, I think we're headed over towards the cafeteria and upstairs to the fifth grade. So we want to get you into the building, all right? All right, welcome students. You just came from the front office down to the main hallway here. This is what we call the commons. And there's a couple different places we're gonna show you today. First of all, I'd like to introduce you to Mrs. Goff. This is gonna be your counselor along with me and your other teachers you'll meet uh, for the next year. And then you'll know me and Mrs. Goff here for the next four years because we're gonna take you through five through eighth grade. If you look down the hallway there, if you, this is looking right as you come in the building. Mrs. Champion is down there by the clinic, okay, which is right there on her left. And then the, the gym you guys will use is the eighth grade gym, which is, or sorry, the East gym, not the eighth grade gym, right here where she's at. So you'll be coming down this staircase right here and going to that gym when you have your gym class. Okay. And now we're going to head to the left to the fifth grade hallway um, that will be upstairs. And on our way, we will pass the cafeteria the LGI, and the Media Center. Throughout your time in Creston, you are going to see core expectations throughout the building. This lovely C-O-R-E is going to be displayed in various spots throughout the building. Our expectations will be posted. You'll see them in your classrooms. You'll see them with your morning announcements. You'll see them in your core connect classes that we'll talk about later. So don't forget guys, always practice core no matter where you are. So as you came down the hallway, now we're at the media center. It's going to be the first stop you get to if you ever want to get into the library or anything like that. This is where you would have all your media services. Uh, two awesome librarians here, Ms. Lawson and Ms. Becky, and they're here to help you uh, with anything you would need with your teacher uh, coming down this way.
So when you come into the Mediaplex, this will be an opportunity for you to read a book here in the Mediaplex, or you can check out one of our hundreds and thousands of books that we have here. If you're someone who likes to take a book to go, we'll show you how to check out, or Miss Lawson even has a stack of books over on the side that have been discontinued that she'll even let you have for free. So let's see what it's like when you find a book and you want to check it out. Come with me. So when you find something that you like and you enjoy, you're going to come over to Miss Lawson and you will hand the book to her. Just like you did at your libraries in your elementary schools. As long as you do not have any outstanding books at your elementary school, you'll be good to go. Here you go. And then we can go on with your class. I think our next stop is going to be um, heading on up to the fifth grade. For most of our fifth grade population, you are going to be using this main stairwell B to get up to the fifth grade hallway. However, there are a few of you that may need some extra assistance where an elevator may be needed. So you'll go this direction. Let's follow me. To get up the elevator, not just anybody can do it. You can't just go up and push the button. You actually have to have a special key. Fortunately, Mr. Cleveland has one. Not only turn, but push. This is an extra safety security measure that we have on our elevators. So for those of you that may require our elevator, you're gonna have to talk to one of our staff members to make sure that you are supported. Parents, this is where that communication is key. Please contact either myself or Mr. Cleveland and we'll get you hooked up. Let's head upstairs. We'll meet you up there. <laughs> All right, well, we just came up the stairs. Over here to our left is the fifth grade hallway, but first let's go pick up Mr. Cleveland by the elevator. Let's head on down to my office. So this is where my office is. Um, there is an outer room here that has a copier in it and some other things, but my office is actually tucked back in there. Usually if you ever need anything, your teacher will either send you down to me or they'll let me know you're coming. So this is where you would come. If I happen not to be here, just wait for a second and one of us will be along to help you out. You want to come on in and see the inner office? Come on in. Let's do it. So this is that kind of waiting room for me, possibly, and also the teacher's lounge, and then my office is in. This is where you'll meet me if you ever need me. So hang out and let me know if you need anything. All right, Ms. Goff, let's talk about some lockers. So this is gonna be the first time that our students are gonna be using lockers. So this is a whole new experience. Um, I, I know not everyone has gotten a chance to use them before these lovely codes and everything. So is there anything that's gonna be available to kind of help us? Yeah, so we actually have these signs throughout the hallways um, that are a helpful reminder. 
on how to use the lockers. Wonderful, wonderful. And students and family, something to know too, it's very possible that you may be set up with what's called a locker buddy, which means you and another person may actually be sharing the locker together. So if by some chance you may have forgotten what your locker combination is, don't worry. You're going to have somebody there that's going to be able to help you as well. Okay? All right. So do you guys want to check out a classroom and see what that looks like? Uh, why don't we head over to Mr. Green's room? All right? Come this way. Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Green's room. Now, as you can tell, it's kind of set up for the summertime and not anybody being in school, but this is what one of your typical classrooms will look like. Pretty similar to probably what you're used to in elementary school. About the same size and about the same amount of desks and everything like that. Every classroom is a little different, but you get the idea where you'll have your own desk in each class and just like Mrs. Champion and Ms. Goff said out in the hallway, your locker will be where you keep most of your stuff as well. So fifth graders, this is the staircase you'll come up in the mornings if you ride the bus. This is kind of at the other end of the hallway where we were before, and we'll show you that when we go back downstairs later. But when you come up, you'll come up this hallway, and you'll probably either go down here to one of your lockers. Mrs. Champion's office is right down there where we just were. Or you might come down this hallway, and your lockers might be down this hallway as well. Right here is where you'll usually use the restroom if you have to. This is one of the fifth grade restrooms that we use, the main one during the school day. <laughs> We're going to head this way right around the corner is my office. So right here is my office. Um, let's go ahead and come in and take a look. Alright guys, so at this point we're going to head back downstairs and we're going to look at the most exciting portion of your day, which is lunch. So <laughs> let's go look at the cafeteria. Cafeteria! <laughs> As you come into the cafeteria, you will sit with your class, and Mr. Cleveland and myself will always be in here um, during the lunch period. Um, we will dismiss by um, classes, and then you will be able to choose whichever lunch line you would like to go to. Usually what we serve in each lunch line is probably a lot different than the elementary school. Um, there's always nacho bar, uh, sub, sub sandwich bar, uh, pizza, hamburgers, things like that, and then they also have a salad bar as well. So. Lots of different choices. One line each day usually changes the variety of what you can get. So it's a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat experience while you're in here. This is one of the best places to be, like Mrs. Champion said earlier, that we get really excited in here. But we really need to remember all the expectations of being a core student while you're in here too. Of doing what you need, cleaning up after yourself, keeping your area clean, all those good things. And we'll talk about that when school starts. Next we'll head to the gym. All right, so you guys just left lunch. Now you have uh, the awesome opportunity to go and have some time with Miss Haran, which is going to be your PE instructor. Uh, so the East Gym is where you are gonna meet uh, when it is your rotation for PE. And we'll get into that when we talk about electives um, through your videos that you're gonna see. Uh, so let's go ahead and enter into the gym and see what it looks like.
Students, you got a chance to see where the nurse's office was located not too long ago at the beginning of this video. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about the clinic procedures. If you are someone who has to go to the nurse because maybe you're sick, uh, you take medication on a daily basis, maybe you happen to get some type of little nick or bruise or cut or something on your hand, uh, you were just in the gym a second ago, maybe you hurt yourself in the gym and you get an ice pack. So, you're going to pop over to the gym or the, the clinic and sign in. You must sign in every time you come in. They're not going to see you if you don't. Also, you must have a pass. If you do not have a pass, this lovely person over here, well, this is actually Mr. Cleveland, but the nurses that are in here, they're not going to let you in. They're actually going to turn you away. So you have to have a pass either from your teacher uh, or another staff member that is in this building. If you show up and don't have anything, sorry folks, let's go this in. Parents, this part of the message is talking to you. So when I say you, I mean you, I don't mean your student. If you have a child who has to take medication on a daily basis, you need to bring that medication into school in its original bottle. If it is not in the original bottle, the nursing staff here, they're not going to accept it. They have to be able to see what the dosage is and make sure that it is from that doctor's office and the prescriber. Um, when you bring that in, they're going to have you fill out a form giving consent for them to prescribe it. The other thing, students, this one's for you. During that first week of school, you are going to be given what is called a medical emergency card. Uh, you, uh, information. You are going to have to fill out that information and have your parents sign off on it. Parents be looking for it during those first couple of days of school. That's going to have some really important information about things like allergies, emergency contacts that the nursing staff can contact if there's a situation. We need to get that information back, okay? Nurse Ann is going to be wonderful help to with any needs that you have and she'll be glad to help. So fifth graders, this is the bottom of that staircase I told you about that you'll enter and exit from every day. Um, the door right over here where I'll take you is the door you'll come in if you ride the bus during the day. So usually when you come in, you go straight up that staircase and that takes you right upstairs to where the fifth grade classrooms and lockers mainly are. So this is door 23 where you'll come in and also exit every day. Usually our buses are lined up right along this sidewalk out here, and you'll come in, go straight up that staircase, and that goes straight to your fifth grade lockers and classrooms. We appreciate everything, guys. Have a great day. Hi, incoming fifth graders. I'm Mr. Cleveland. I'm going to be your dean for the next four years while you're a student here at Crescent Intermediate and Middle School. I just want to take this moment and welcome you to our building. We're looking forward to a fun and fabulous year with you and you helping you become a Crescent Middle School and Intermediate School Indian. Hello, fifth grade students. My name is Miss Goff, and I am the fifth grade counselor. Um, I also work with Mr. Cleveland, who is our fifth grade dean, and we will be moving with you the next four years, which is really great. Um, and we know that right now you might be feeling nervous, excited, uh, maybe a little scared just because you don't know what your fifth grade year might look like. Um, but we want you to know that we are here to support you along the way. Um, I wanted to take some time to share with you what my role at Creston looks like. Um, so some things that I help students with are academic skills, um, such as time management or organization. I also help students with social and emotional skills um, like stress, anxiety, um, friendship, bullying, um, and I also help students with college and career exploration as well. We are really looking forward to getting to know you um, and getting the year started. Um, so if you have any questions or there's anything that you need from me, um, feel free to reach out. Um, but we are really looking forward um, to getting started with your fifth grade year. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? 
For those of you that do not know, I'm Mr. Webb, the Intermediate STEM teacher at Creston. Now, to give you a brief reminder, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And in our STEM class, we have a strong focus on engineering, where we use science, technology, and math to help us understand um, how effectively to be engineers. Hi, Creston students. My name is Miss Pelto. I am the fifth and sixth grade art teacher. I have been at Creston for about six or seven years now, and I cannot tell you how much I love my job and seeing your faces. So when you come into my room at uh, the beginning of the year, you can expect to make your very own sketchbook that you get to use every single day that you come in. Um, at the end of the year, you get to take home all of your creations and share it with your family. We have an art show um, at the end of the year, and I also want to have one at the middle of the year too. Um, if you are hosted in the art show, everything you create, you do get to take home with you. Sometimes I just hold on to it a little longer so I can brag about you. Um, we have art club for fifth and sixth grade. Art club is a really great time to get together with other people who are like-minded, who are creative. Uh, we do tie-dyeing and t-shirts and um, we really kind of narrow in on some of the stuff that we don't always have time for in the everyday classroom. So if you are really hoping to get some of your artistic skills on point, um, that would be the time to do it. So if you had any further questions about art or anything, feel free to email me. I am an open book, so I hope to see your faces. My room is fun. We have stuffed animals and all kinds of great things. So I hope to see your face and I'm so excited to meet you. Hi boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Haran and I will be your PE teacher next year at Creston. I want everyone to feel comfortable and confident to try new things. We do cooperative activities, some team sports, and then we also like to do individual fitness assessments. I want you to come to class and be excited to come and try new things next year. Parents, if at any time you feel that you need to reach out to me, please do. You can email me, you can call me, and I would love to discuss more about your child. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing everybody next year. Hi, future Creston students. My name is Mrs. Sugar, and I am the music teacher at Creston for the fifth and sixth grade students. When you are a student in my classroom, we will be going through Quaver quite a bit. A lot of you used Quaver in the elementary setting, but I also have an entire class set of guitars that we get to use, as well as, as, well as some drums and some other projects that I have planned for you. I really can't wait to see you in the fall. I'm really looking forward to the next school year. Bye-bye.